bottom line, a de-radicalized, a demilitarized Palestinian enclave is what Israel wants. And they've been radicalized. Mm. They're the most radicalized population on the planet. From the time you're born in Gaza to the time you die, you're taught to hate the Jews. You heard what Senator Graham there especially had to say. Do you think that was a realistic scenario that he outlined or pie in the sky stuff? I wish you didn't uh, force me to have uh, to hear this uh, nonsense. Nonsense that actually explains why the U.S. for the last three decades has failed miserably to play the role of an honest mediator. Why the U.S. has failed to be the grown-up in the room, it's because of the logic expressed by Senator Graham, uh, uh, Lindsey Graham just now. And I was the ambassador to Washington, and I did meet Senator Graham many times, and I tried to actually mm. persuade him that this mindset, this complete adoption of the Israeli narrative does not help the cause of peace. He needs to see with two yeah, eyes, um, but he only sees with one okay. eye, and that eye, that eye is hateful, and that eye is racist. Right, so what in particular did you take offense to in what he said? That the Palestinian people uh, are the most radicalized, particularly in Gaza. I mean, Gaza, he doesn't see it as the mostly, most densely populated area on Earth, besieged by air and sea and land for 17 years, made of 80% of refugees who were ethnically cleansed from their villages and towns just a few kilometers away from Gaza, like myself, who I was born in a refugee camp in yeah. Rafah. Yet, still, Gaza, over all these years, was able to produce the highest literacy rate in the region, the highest PhD per capita graduates, yet Gaza was able to sustain as a society. This is a person who sees us from the prism of imperialism and hegemony, and he relates only to Israel, and for him, we are the other. We are the other. Okay. It's very unfortunate. Right. Okay. Right, let me just ask you this, though. The Saudis have mooted a plan, which he seems to have bought into as well, which could offer a path towards a recognized Palestinian state, recognized by the Israelis. Is that not something that you might be interested in? This is only Netanyahu's logic that uh, Senator Graham has completely adopted, uh, and many in the U.S., which is just bypass, what about the just bypass the Palestinian issue. Anything, abracadabra, let's do anything, uh, and we'll resolve the issue. Mm. But to actually resolve and look at the root cause, which is the Palestinian issue. Israel knows that it is the occupation, the colonization, the besiegement. Israel knows that the biggest elephant in the room is us, especially in the last year. The Saudis are very clear. I don't need to speak on their behalf. The Saudi prince, the foreign minister said it clearly. The crown prince uh, uh, said it clearly only a couple of weeks ago. Saudi Arabia will not normalize until a Palestinian state is established. So the Israelis okay. and with some some of their American backers has got to give up that fallacy. Okay. Um, another question is this. You, know, you haven't had elections in the West Bank for a variety of reasons, uh, you know, since 2006. Are you afraid that if there were to ever be free and fair democratic elections in a recognized state of Palestine, that your party, Fatah, that you represent, would lose it and other more radical forces like Hamas or whatever they might be called in the future would prevail? Elections are elections. We are not going to design elections uh, at the size of Senator Graham or the West, for that matter. Uh, democratic elections must be respected, and what is, whatever the Palestinian people decide must be absolutely res respected. However, this is not an issue of leadership or democratic process. If, you, if we suggest that we haven't gained our independence and freedom because we don't have the right leaders, think again, my friend. This is about the actual issue of gaining freedom so we can convene and conduct democratic mm. elections without the interference and the veto power of the occupier, as has been the case over the years. Mm. In 10 seconds, in 10 seconds, do you think that anything positive at all can come out of this crisis, this war? The realization among growing numbers in Israel itself, in the region, and worldwide, that without justice 
and resolving the Palestinian issue in accordance with international law, that the Palestinian people shall be treated equally like all other nations, mm. we shall okay. not see peace and stability and security in the world, not only the region. Okay, Ambassador Zomla, thank you very much.